Welcome to your new Overnighter Kit by Bohr Mills. A new concept in kits. A hybrid kit that's easy to build, goes together quickly, and looks great. Stick around with us through this video presentation, and we'll tell you a little bit about what tools you'll need and maybe what tools you'll no longer need through this process. So what are we looking at here? Well, you know, on the right, what we have is a traditional building made out of basswood, plastic windows, and sometimes plastic doors, certainly paper roofs. But on the left is an entirely different thing. So what is the major difference here? Well, you can see on the left-hand side, the building is, seems to be already painted. The signs are on, the weathering is done. It's all ready to go, but don't let it fool you. There is some work involved with this. So let's get on to the next photo and we will try to walk you through the process. Wow, that looks great. But how are the signs and the weathering and the detail already done? Well, you know, that's a good question because that's what makes this kit so unique. We call it a hybrid kit because it's not just wood, it's also pre-printed. And that's what you're seeing on the left. The, the uh, buildings have been pre-printed with weather details, the signs are installed, and they're all ready to go. There's really no reason to prime and paint them and do the weathering and add the signs as you would in a normal kit, quote unquote, like the one pictured on the right hand side of the photo okay now what if i want to change one of the signs well it's not hard to do all you have to do is get onto your computer generate a new sign you know to your liking uh cut it out of the piece of paper you've printed it on add some double-sided tape and carefully place it over the existing sign on the wall. Remember, these walls are printed. They may look fully dimensional, but they are not. And it's easy to add a sign over an existing sign. No problem. Okay, so it's printed and weathered, but it's not plastic. And it looks like we need to add things like windows and doors. What are we looking at here? Is this how you put the windows in? Well, actually, these windows are exactly like the ones that we would use in a regular high-end craftsman kit. In this case, they're plastic, but if you notice, you can see through them, unlike a traditional printed paper building, you can actually add window glass, window shades, and more. Okay, so all I have to do is take my plastic windows, insert them in the pre-cut holes in the walls. Wow, that seems really simple. Well, remember, you have to have the right glue, and you'll see more about that in the instructions. It's a shortcut, but it's an effective and easy way to get a real craftsman-looking structure on your layout with very little effort. Wow, it sure looks like this hybrid pre-printed method is going to save me a lot of time. Well, you know, in traditional model building, and we love traditional model building, you will have to do things like, you know, lifting the boards and priming, and then adding paint over the primer, and then masking out to add even more colors to a model. None of that is really part of this process. You just get right to it, and you'll end up with a, with a model that you'll be proud to say you built. It's important to use the right glue when assembling these buildings. In this case, we use PVA glue. PVA is not yellow glue, it's a white glue similar to what you'd find from Eileen's or Sobo. Wow, that looks great. I love the way that the corner posts give it a traditional craftsman look. Well, just because the walls of the building are printed, we've stayed with a very traditional technique by using many wooden components, such as the corner posts. You know, if you look at the windows, the freight doors, the corner posts, they can all be painted to whatever color you want to do. You're not locked into just a printed surface with these things. Even the tar paper roofing is laid on one strip at a time, easily painted right out of a spray can. We prefer the Krylon camouflage kind of paints. You can see those in the photo. They're easy to do and offer a lot of flexibility when building your model. Love the video, but enough talking. Let's build one. Well, you know, it takes a little time to build these things. Make sure that you read the instructions. And if you have some techniques that you've been using for years, don't be afraid to throw them into the same build. 
Super detailing these structures is as easy as super detailing any craftsman structure. So have some fun with it, and thanks for stopping by and visiting us here at Bar Mills.